everyone, I am Teacher Stacy, and today I am going to read you the story of Padang the Mighty Warrior. Padang was a slave who lived in Saluang. Weak and poor, Padang had to find food for himself every day. Each morning, he would set fish traps in the river. One day, he found his fish traps empty except for fish scales and bones. This happened for a few days. Who has been stealing my fish? wondered Padang. The next day, determined to get to the bottom of this mystery, he hid behind some reeds to try to catch the thief. When the demon with fiery red eyes appeared and greedily ate the fish that Padang caught, Badang took out his cleaver and charged at him. Don't kill me! I will give you whatever you want, the demon pleaded. Knowing his master would take any wealth from him, he asked the demon for great strength so he could finish all the tasks his master set for him. Very well, said the demon, but first you have to swallow my vomit. The demon vomited a great amount and Badan swallowed it all. He gained so much strength that he could uproot huge trees and clear the land for his master rapidly. Badan's master was overjoyed. To thank Badan, he said, from this day on, you are no longer my slave. News of Badan's amazing strength began to spread. When the Raja of Singapore heard it, he summoned Badam to the palace. The Raja had ordered his people to build a parapu within the palace grounds. This boat measured 15 arm spans in length, and it was so heavy not even 3,000 men could move it. Can you help me? the Raja asked Badam. I will move the boat for you, Badam replied used his muscular arms and muscular legs, he pushed the boat all the way from the palace to the sea by himself. The king was amazed at Badam's strength and made him a royal warrior. Soon, the king of India heard that the Raja of Singapore had a mighty warrior named Badam. He ordered his strongest warrior, Nadi Vijaya Vikrama, to challenge him. Sail to Singapore and wrestle with Bada, the king told his warrior. If you lose, I will give the Raja of Singapore seven shiploads of goods. But if Bada loses, I will demand seven shiploads of goods from him. Thousands of people came to watch the wrestling match between Bada and Nadi Vijaya Vikrama. The two men were locked in each other's arms in fierce combat. Each fought his very best. But ultimately, Badam emerged victorious. Feeling ashamed, Nadi Vijaya Pikrama suggested one final challenge. Let us demonstrate our strength by lifting that boulder, he said, pointing to a gigantic rock near the wrestling ring Whoever is unable to lift it will be the loser. Nadi Vijaya Vikrama used all of his might and managed to lift the boulder up to his knees. But Badang easily lifted the boulder over his head and with a smile, he flung it all the way to Kuala Singapura, the estuary of the Singapore River. Hence, the warrior of India had to surrender seven ships and their precious cargo to Badam. And the fame of Badam continued to spread like wildfire. Over the years, more powerful warriors came to challenge Badam, but none of them could defeat the warrior of Singapore, who possessed tremendous strength. Badam remained the undefeated hero of Singapore, defending his king and country's honour for as long as he lived.